My name is David Robison. I'm a geologist with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Louisville District. I work on the RISC cadre and this year I've participated in the Erdic University program. We're using LiDAR technology and basically drones are what's known as unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. And we're working with these to basically see if the technology would be good for levee inspections and levee risk assessments. We're testing basically about a one mile stretch of levee. We've tested with different technologies. So we did a terrestrial based LIDAR where we went along on the ground and just to see what we could see. That data is being processed now, so we'll soon see what we're able to collect from that. We used the photogrammetry technology and that's a cheaper technology, still using the drones in the air. And most districts now are getting that technology and using it to uh, snap photos of, of the levees and construction projects. The issue with the photogrammetry though is that it, it gets you a top surface. So all the, all the vegetation that's out there, that's your surface. And it's not gonna be the bare levee, which is what we're really more concerned about. LiDAR technology we think is, adds the benefit because it should be able to shoot down through the vegetation and get down to uh, the last return, which will give you essentially a bare earth return. And so that'll give you a better clue as to what the actual structure of the levee itself is. And so comparing these three technologies, my guess is that the best technology, of course, is going to be the aerial LIDAR. And that's going to be the more expensive one. But the hope is that if this works out well, we can then move on to a test phase where we can do an entire levee inspection with it. And if we're able to do entire levee inspection, and if we get good data from it, we can do it relatively inexpensive, then perhaps it can move on to a further program where we can start doing this for all levy periodic assessments and levy inspections. This helps us with our mission because levees fail mostly because of overtopping. So we want to know exactly where all the low points are on the levee. So this technology helps with that. The land-based surveying that we've done can find them here and there, but this will find all the low points. Other issues that affect levees are penetrations through the levees. We know where most of those are. We have those mapped out. So that's good. That's set. The other effect on levees is under seepage. If the water's come up high on it, we might have seen sand boils in the past. That's where we're probably going to have issues in the future. This technology, as I said, I hope will allow us to see where some of those stream channels have crossed the levee and we might have a better idea of where that under seepage may happen in the future. Particularly in areas where we haven't had the water high in the levees very much in the past, we can know where those weak points are before the flood comes and we could potentially do some remediation and be prepared to deal with that flood fight, knowing exactly where those problem areas could potentially be. So that increases the public safety and could potentially reduce the risk of the levee itself. Erdic has been a big help because they have the technology already on hand. So they had photogrammetry, they had the terrestrial LIDAR, they had the aerial LIDAR, they had all this equipment ready. Now Erdic's busy, they're doing research, so they don't have the time to go out and do every levee, but we can test it here and we can start playing with it. And if it proves right, we can perhaps go on and, and convince the rest of the Corps of Engineers to start purchasing this, this uh, equipment and start using it as a program. So using Erdic as, as the guinea pig, you know, as the research, that's what they're there for. And that's been a great opportunity to, to use them and collaborate with them to get this completed.